I'm with Amos Miller from a company called Glidance, and he's going to show us a really terrific accessibility tool that he's uh, uh, the co-founder of the company Glidance, I believe, correct? I am the CEO and co-founder of Glidance, correct. So uh, talk to us about what this device can do. All right, so Glide is, first of all, I'll just explain it. The Glide is the first self-guided mobility aid for people with sight loss. So really developing a solution that addresses the needs of people who need to get around, who are unable to see, um, and providing people with an, uh, really with a third alternative. Today people use guide dogs and canes, and we know that for some people they need some more help, especially, especially people who lose their sight later in life. Um, so that's where, that's the origin of, of the work that, uh, that led to the development of Glide. So why is that important to people later in life more than if they'd lost their vision earlier or if they were born blind? That's a great question. I mean, people who are born blind be, build a, a mental map of their world and build the skills and capabilities to navigate in the world um, from a very early age. Um, and by the way, I'm not saying that uh, they will, uh, that people who are born blind would not benefit from Glide, they will. Um, and I'm sure that they will enjoy the benefits that Glide brings in terms of this really uh, clear, very clear and guided navigation, which we'll talk about in a minute. But people who lose their sight later in life sometimes are reluctant to take those steps to be develop the skill set that re that's required to be an effective cane user and get out and about independently. So maybe and it's maybe it's mm -hmm. like learning a language later. You're you're always translating. If you're if you're born speaking two languages, you know you spoke two languages. You're not translating. Maybe it's something like that. It is yes, and it's also being alert to the information that you get from your environment and being able to orient based on that. It's also a mental adjustment and a, yeah, like being being willing to walk out there and try for a while before you be build that confidence. And I think one of the benefits of uh, that Glide can bring to that is that really very quickly because it actually guides you a person who knows their let's say uh, how to get around their the neighborhood would be able to take a walk uh, very quickly with it so i'm going to describe what this looks like to the audience because there's audio only listeners as well and heck there's blind people listening as well ah, so he's he's got a uh, uh, by the way just for the audience i am actually blind myself uh, maybe just worth explaining that i lost my sight in my 20s from retinitis pigmentosa um, I've been at this kind of uh, quest to figure out uh, technological solutions to, for navigation for quite some time, maybe th three decades now. I developed Soundscape at Microsoft uh, for, for a number of years, so some, some of your listeners may be familiar with that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, really I, I was very intrigued to explore a solution that can help people who may not be those confident cane users. So let me... Why don't, you just, why don't you describe what this looks Let like? Let me explain what it is, yeah. So I'm holding in my hand Glide. I'm holding the handle. The handle is stretches 45 degree to the ground and then it rests on two wheels. And the wheels are effectively what guides you. So I, I will move the device forward and the wheels will start steering left and right to guide me, to keep me on the path, to take me around obstacles and just guide me to where I'm, where I'm go going, whether it's to a door, a dropped curb, or all the way to a restaurant that I set up on my navigation app. Oh, so it can respond to navigation from, your, from the uh, phone? We're working on those integrations so that you can set your navigation on the phone and then it will guide you in that to, to that destination. So you're going to be the first one to full self-driving. <laughs> yeah, well, this is it is self-driving, but it's also, and that's a very important point, it's also, um, actually the wheels are not motorized, so it's not going to pull me around. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm moving it forward, I'm pulling it back, and the wheels just steer left and right. The wheels can also apply the brakes to stop me. Oh, that's but, nice. But the agency remains with me. I'm the one that's in control. I'm deciding, do I want to go back? Do I want to go f forward? Do I want to go fast? I can even twist the handle to turn left and right. Okay, I can see the wheels turning when you yeah, do that. Yeah, and when I do that, if there's an obstacle, the wheels, the device will not let me turn until it's safe to take that turn. Okay, so, so a, lot, a, lot a lot of what a seeing eye dog does, in a way, right? 
uh, inspired you from stepping into the yeah, street inspired by 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 that but we also have definitely inspired by guide dogs i want to agree to that point i mean i i'm a guide dog user myself um, but we also have speakers in the device so the device will be able to use voice to give you some more information about the environment that you're encountering and the speakers and up in the in the handle they are in the handle and you'll be able to also pl plug it into a headset if uh, if you prefer that oh that's neat. yeah the Very speakers cool. are here in the handle there's also haptics in the handle so that the device can warn you to slow down or tell you that you can speed up or that there's a sharp turn coming to the left or the right so really working together with the device. So there must be a camera on this somewhere. Yep, right up here. So they up in so the we handle. So have, we have um, there's quite a lot of sensors on the device. Along the bottom there are short range sensors that really help with the obstacle avoidance and local path planning. And then we have a camera right at the top of the handle so that the device has a nice view of all the environment, the, the space in front of you and help to de uh, determine a good, safe path to, to guide you on. Okay, yeah, I can see how you need to know the obstacles on the ground, but also the situational awareness of... Yeah, the and the camera can... Sight. I mean, we're working on a line of sight targets, for example, so that the camera can detect, let's say, a door, and then work out a path to that door, and Glide will guide you all the way there. Very, very cool. Yeah. So this is in active product development right now, is that correct? Correct, yes. Okay, and do you have a vision for when this might be a product? I do, of course. <laughs> <laughs> One that you're willing to tell me about? Yeah, sure. No, I mean, we are really ex expecting to uh, kick off a beta program this year, as in by the late spring or summer this year. I mean, we'll see uh, how successful we are in get hitting those dates. But the beta program will really give us an opportunity to get devices into people's hands, start to get a lot of feedback from daily use, and, and prepare to launch the product after that. I heard from one of, one of your other compatriots here that you were having a guy demo, uh, demo it who was blind and he started jogging with it. Is that true? Yeah, he went a little fast for running in CES. <laughs> I don't think he saw how crowded the environment was in front of him. Did he run into anything? He he did he did quite well right at the end. Somebody just cut across him at the, at almost equal speed, and they <laughs> they they had a brush. Let's oh. put it, let's say. But uh, no, I mean the device is definitely um, working to support um, good walking speed. I mean I I say to people we call it glide because when you walk with it you glide, you know, and that's really the experience that we want to empower of this. It's a very smooth experience. You walk, you're confident, you're upright, you're heading where you want to go and, and the device uh, keeps you on a, on, a, on a good steady pace and, and you, you feel empowered and, and uh, confident. Very good. Do you think we can do a demo of this? We absolutely can do a demo. Should we do a video cut and then move and then go do, because I know you're doing it in a little less crowded area? Uh, we can do the demo at the back, yeah. Turn around. What do you think? Uh, where, where are my demo guys? We might need to do a cut because okay. we are not quite organized. We'll do, a, we'll do a cut and then we'll move. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes. So you've got the device in your hand? I do. Okay. So, so let's, make it, let's get it to stand first. Okay. So now it's sitting down. Okay. okay it's nice right. Simple, yeah. You hold it in this hand, and okay. then when you pull it down to angle, it will be ready to go. It'll get okay. on its legs, on its feet, oh, okay. on, its, on its wheels, you'll feel it. And then when you walk, just feel where it's going and follow it. Okay, okay. I'm not good at following it, directions. Don't let it run away. It's not, it's not going to tell you anything. You just If it starts going to the left, just go with it. Don't, don't kind of let it hang on the left by itself. Okay. okay? And you, you know. All right. You'll get it. Here goes. I'm closing my eyes now. Tilt my tilt the back. Oh, there I felt it. All right, I'm just gonna start walking. I have my eyes closed. Oh, it wants me to go to the left a little bit, a little bit to the right. Oh, I can feel it gliding me. Go a little bit to the left here. I'm hoping somebody will tell me if I'm gonna run into anybody. Whoa, oh, oh, I've got to go this way. It just stopped me. I wonder if Steve's standing in front of me. I bet you anything, he just tried to stop me. All right, I'm still going. This is pretty gentle. I can definitely feel just us. Yeah? 
Okay, Steve wants me to try turning around. You go in front of me though, Steve. All right, oh, okay, I'm turning. It's letting me turn. It's letting me do a sharp turn. I'm still going around and I want to start going straight now. Oh, I'm going to go right, left, a little bit jerky back and forth there. All right, I'm going to walk a little faster just to make everybody nervous. Whoop, there it goes. I don't know if I'm going to run into anybody here, but so far so good. Yeah, I can definitely see. Oh, there we go, there we go. I don't know if I went around somebody. It's interesting to do this and not know whether I'm just missing people or whether I've uh, just, I'm completely alone here. I can't actually tell. But uh, I think I'm going to stop here and turn around again. All right. Wants me to turn around. Should I go back anymore, Steve? Go back. Walk a little bit more. Yeah, this is very natural. You can definitely see how this just feels really comfortable. I don't think I've hit anybody yet. All right, I'm going to stop. So I'm going to bring it up and a 40 high angle and it just put itself to sleep. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that was great. All right, let's let's uh, close it off here. All right, I'm going to say goodbye to you here because we haven't uh, actually conducted that worked. That worked really well. That was very, very interesting. I understand exactly what you were describing. I could feel what it now wanted it me to do. Now it makes sense. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Well, thank you very much. And uh, so one more time, if people wanted to learn more about uh, Glidance and the, and the Glide, what, where would they go? So the best thing to do is to go, go to Glidance.io. Glidance.io, that's G-L-I-D-A-N-C-E dot I-O. Uh, you can re they can register. Um, we're taking... Um, registrations in advance of our pre-order program and they can just register for more information um, and we really look for feedback we look for thoughts we look for people who want to talk to us um, and engage and and Alison I just want to say thank you very much for for having us having this discussion with me my pleasure my pleasure thank you very much bye-bye